I'm News 10's Britt LaFasso. The man in charge of Louisiana's finances wants residents to pay less in taxes. The Louisiana state treasurer is pushing for the state to get rid of state personal income tax entirely. Good morning, Acadiana. I'm News 10's Jasmine Dean. The deadly shooting at a Georgia high school on Monday has not only left a community mourning, but concerned parents here in Acadiana with questions on student safety. And LPSS wants to assure parents student safety is a priority. Good morning, Acadiana. I'm News 10's Rodrigo Taylor. In Lafayette, a local pastor and community activist calls on all pastors in Acadiana to unite to stop the violence. Good morning, Acadiana. It's News 10's Lainey Miller. The city is currently reviewing the mold test results from Himbola Manor Apartments. Tomorrow, the Hertz Tower, the tallest building in Lake Charles, will be imploded. At that time, I-10 in both directions will shut down and traffic will be diverted to the 210 loop. The implosion is scheduled for 8 a.m. Good morning, Acadiana. This is News 10's Dawson D'Amico. Preparations are underway for this weekend's Second Amendment tax-free holiday to kick off the hunting season. Good morning, Acadiana. This is Zane Hogue. From hunting with his dogs to taking on the Alaskan wilderness, Joseph Malbro says being a part of the Outlast cast was nothing short of life-changing. And once again, more showers, more storms. There will be some heavier rains at times, especially across our coastal regions. Watch out for any type of flash flooding we may see there across St. Mary Parish this morning. All right, folks.